Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to loop a sample in Cakewalk. Next. To loop an audio sample, right mouse click on the audio sample. And click on loop on the pop-up menu. Then move the mouse cursor over the loop icon at the top right of the audio sample. So the mouse cursor turns into a two-headed arrow. Then press the left mouse button and drag right. A dotted vertical line will appear at the end of each loop. If the length of the audio sample doesn't match the bar lengths of your song, then when you loop the audio sample, the loop will get out of sync with your song. So here is my little trick to fix it. Click on the track after the audio sample but before the next bar end. Click on the arm record icon so it turns red. Then click on the record button and record for a couple of seconds then stop recording. Now move the mouse cursor over the end of the recording so the mouse cursor turns into a double-headed arrow. Then press the left mouse button and drag left so the recording ends at the end of the bar. Now click on the top of the recording. Then hold down the shift key and click on the top of the audio sample. So now both clips are selected and highlighted. Next, right mouse click the recording. Then click on bounce to new clip on the pop-up menu. Now the clips are merged into one and match the bar length. So right mouse click on the clip. Click on loop. Move the mouse cursor over the loop icon at the top right of the clip. So the mouse cursor turns into a double headed arrow. and then drag right. And now, when you drag right, the loops will be in sync with the bars. Now, if you're going to use my fix, there are two things you're going to need to check. The first is that you've selected an audio input for the audio track, otherwise you won't be able to record. And the second is, remove anything that is connected to the input, otherwise you could record some unwanted noise. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.